Could we ever live a day without the grace of God? That first breath you took this morning, perhaps the first one when you awoke, that breath had its beginning in the gracious act of God to fill your lungs and give you life. That first thought, in which you noted the beauty of the early sunlight bathing the yard with golden rays, that thought was the result of a marvelous biochemical chain of neurons lighting up your sleepy brain, all created by a gracious God. And even if all the distractions were removed, if all the contentious, stressful things could magically disappear from your today, your own thoughts would make you far from perfect. Jesus said, For from the heart come evil thoughts, murder, adultery, all sexual immorality, theft, lying, and slander. These are what defile you. Grace is not a temporary fix when we need restoration and forgiveness. No less of it will be required when we leave off the greatest sins. Grace is God's choice to hold broken, straying people like us in his arms, on our best days and our worst. Grace is our constant need and God's forever gift. So stay in it.